What up everybody, my name is Architect, and today we're going to take a look into the Penn & Teller King of Animal Traps. It's a trick they did on the Do Not Try at Home special. Um, and I'm just going to say this, I know I'm at home and I'm doing this, but you guys really should not be here. I mean, I'm doing this because I'm going to try to show you guys how the trick was done. And, you know, just to give a little bit of respect to two of my favorite comedy magicians, I actually, uh, I give them credit for going above and beyond to show us some of how these tricks are done. And I'm going to try to go full circle with it to, you know, maybe show you how one of their tricks was done. I hope you guys enjoy this. This is the King of Animal Traps. Exposed. Alright. The whole thing starts with a theme of how animal traps are super dangerous. Do not ever play with an animal trap. You know, they are capable of breaking bones and in some instances even ruining the pelt. So, obviously, they had a few little ingredients they were throwing on each trap. We got some Cheez-Its here. You would say some of the weight distribution and all that would matter. But on some of these heavier traps, you really don't even have to bother with just anything in particular. Some traps would be a little bit, you know, adjusted just to keep the manipulation a little bit lighter. They didn't have these little um, rat traps that I have, and these aren't little. But it'll do just the same. Very scary trap. In fact, I, I don't like setting this one because it's just so scary, just in general. Cleaning up cheese it's for a minute. <laughs> well, you can put you know, it on there before. I know they didn't do that with the cheese. And maybe it's because you can rig it a little bit to have a, a deeper adjustment. You might get away with putting it on the actual trap. like that, but, you know, more power to you. Now, this is where things get fun, because, you know, obviously, some of the traps, if you really notice, they're in the audience, so the audience really can't tell, but, you know, they can actually reach under some of the trap and get the little component or whatever it is, without ever really taking a risk. Some traps are heavier set, the mechanism won't go off at a slight touch, which makes it easier for you to kind of grab some of these things. Other instances, you just had to be more clever than the trap itself. And really, that's how that whole trick was done. What blew my mind is that they literally had two different ingredients for two different sandwiches. When these cheeses, they were just amazing. The 
king of animal traps. Exposed. Thank you, Pentelic.